Well, that's where we were yesterday, and I'm heading out on another adventure today. I did uh, make an attempt to uh, clean up that camera lens, and uh, we'll see how that worked out. Now we're above the dam, I'm going right across the top of the dam, above Fort Collins. There's uh, CSU down there below, just to put it in perspective. And oh my, look at Horsetooth Reservoir. It is like glass. I thought it would be iced over, but it's another one of those phenomenal days. Well, here you can see what's going on. That is ice. It is uh, in the high 60s, and what's happening is the top layer is melting so normally this time of year the lake would be completely iced over and the reason why it's so calm is there's not enough water on top of that ice to get a churning effect and create the wave so the whole the whole thing is ice cold and uh ooh, we're doing a little zig going over another dam here damn this is fun And where we're headed is Lori State Park, which is right on the other side of the water over there. And uh, I had such a great time doing that 10 miles yesterday. I decided to just uh, go for it today. We were out here last month looking at uh, those bike paths. So we're gonna check them out today. Okay, we've arrived at the park. We're gonna take a crack at the Valley Trail. I have never done this, never been on it, haven't walked it. Our weapon of choice today is going to be a Huffy from Walmart. Actually, this was a, I lied, this is from a dumpster. I was going to work one day, found, saw it leaning against a dumpster with the tires flat. It looked like it had hardly been ridden. It looked like some dog had been chewing on this pedal over here. But, uh, you know, this thing in its present form right there is 37 to 40 pounds. Uh, without the water bottle, so taking the water and the rack and uh, We're gonna do it. I've got other bikes, but I think this would be a fun one to try and I know it might seem kind of crazy. I'm wearing full moto gear I cannot afford to fall down and once you hit your 60s You're gonna find out that this safety stuff is no joke and I encourage you as you go through life to uh, save a little for later on because uh, uh, You'll be glad you did. It's a glorious time uh, of life. So, uh, I've those boots even seem ridiculous, but I'm going for the ankle support. I uh, actually run motocross uh, several years, and I had did some unbelievable crashes with that moto gear on, and walked away unbloodied and unbroken. So I'm taking that approach today. It's probably too hot. Uh, but I'm doing this for exercise and burning calories, so lightweight bike is not in my uh, uh, worry. And I'm probably going to be coming up the road back to this parking spot. So it's uh, a lot of downhill, I hope. <laughs> I did 10 miles yesterday, and uh, I got up this morning and took it a couple of leave. Thank goodness for modern medicine, and we're going to hit it. So i got to save some memory for later on. That's what we're doing. Here's where we're at. And uh, part of this is especially for my uh, friend Dan O'Hare, who I went to high school with. And uh, this is uh, just to give you a sample of what, what we're looking at here. All right. I'm suited up. I'm gonna die in the heat. <laughs> Probably dehydrate, but I zeroed out uh, everything on my cat eye. So, uh. okay, here we go. Sorry about the shaky cam. We'll figure out some other alternatives on another time. West Valley Trail. We're going for the Valley Trail. The easy one. Oh, 
shit. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, so there's, there's some rocky, muddy stretches here. A lot of it looks pretty damn smooth. The plan is to take it to the end, that far ridge, and come back on the road. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Looks like a great smooth trail, high speed stuff. So uh, never been on it. That's why all the safety gear and precautions. So let's go, let's do it. See how this huffy hangs in there. Huffy bike for a huffing and puffing old man. Now we're just having fun. Don't have to prove anything to anybody. The name of the game is survive. Get home without bleeding. First mud hole. Pretty nice trail. Pretty darn smooth. Pretty dry. I cannot look at the screen to see what you're seeing. And I have a crash helmet with rim that I could maybe bolt the on. Helmet cam. A GoPro would be ideal, but it's not in my budget. As long as this one's working. Holy smokes. It's not that bad. to be doing this with the camera. I'm a professional. Do not attempt this unless you are. That was a nasty stretch, but I made it without putting my foot down. Oh, you can see the ice down there in the water. I bet you could walk right across that lake. That would be great to make a a Jesus flick. <laughs> Don't mean that in a sacrilegious way, but you could make it appear you were walking on water if that ice goes all the way out there. I don't think we'll try that on this adventure. Got you sitting in a tree branch. Helper. I hope that came out. See, I stuck you in this tree, branches of that tree right next to the trail. So that way, avoid some of that shaky cam. A huffy mountain bike on a trail with a book rack and a kickstand and plastic pedals. We break all the rules here. <laughs> Sorry about that.
है Got you on a post. Had to uh, park in the shade of one of these trees. With, as soon as you get in the shade, there's ice, and then the mud, that mud is tricky. So far, I haven't dropped you. I've been riding with you in my mouth. <laughs> when I get the chance, but we're about a mile and a half into it, and uh, it's a blast. I'm way overdressed for these kind of temperatures. I probably should have started earlier in the day. Uh, may have to do a do-over on this. Legs feel good. The leave is doing its job. So uh, let's keep going. A wicked muddy section. I had to bail. So I think I'll just walk. Tires get pretty caked with all this, but a little bit of. That's what I hear in there. Grass getting caught in there. You try to go back and forth. It's all good. It's all fun. Shoot, I used to live for this stuff when I had my motocross bike. Actually, it wasn't a motocross, it was a Suzuki 400 four stroke. Uh oh. The uh, derailer took some mud here in the gear clusters and it's trying to shift which is impairing my progress here well oh my god I wanted exercise I'm getting it oh. Well, I did not know what to expect. Next time, maybe I'll just uh, wear my bike pants, my elbow pads, and my gloves. I'm not as hot from the clothes as you would think though. Catch the right window of time. This ice is not as treacherous now. There's still some bite, even with the mud on the tires. But that mud is tough. It's like running in water. <laughs> Jake. 
Ski cam. Really need a helmet cam here. All right. I don't know if you can see that line in the grass that traces our path. It's so still out. I don't know if you can see that calm water in the lagoon. We still gotta make it over here to that hill. We're almost there. Oh my God. Two and a half miles. I'm earning it. <laughs> yeah, I'm earning it. Yes, sir. We're having fun now. Please, God, let me make it to that bench over there. Oh. We are as far as you can get from the truck right now. We have a totally flat front tire. We have a totally mudded up bike. So, <laughs> yeah. ah, derailleur's not shifting too good. Yeah, not looking really, really good at the moment. That was stupid, I came by myself. So, not that a friend would have been able to do much. Uh, well, add to that list of stuff a, uh, at least a tire pump. <laughs> Jeez. Hang on. Front flat tire. I'm sitting on the book rack. Try to get all the weight back here. I just don't want to walk. Note to self bring tire pump and get some liners for these tires. My front tire's done. I put the seat all the way down and sat on the book crack to come down the road here. Damned if I was gonna walk downhill. Figured I could keep a little weight off the rim. If the tire would have, the bead would have gone, then I would have stopped, but, ah, oh, well, that was great. I'm just overdressed right now. And nobody seems to have pickup trucks. Everybody's in a SUV. I'm sure somebody came by with a grungy old truck that let me throw this in the back. But the fun part of being out here on a weekday work hours is you got the place to yourself. And this is the, the con side. When you need help, you're kind of done, but low risk. No harm, no foul. I'm having a wonderful time here. I think there's one more downhill stretch here. Thank goodness we made it back in one piece. No harm, no fall, no blood loss. We got uh, five miles showing. Um, maximum speed was 16 miles an hour. <laughs> and the total on this bike is 306 miles with this speedometer. And that was only on there less than six months. Yeah. So. Uh, 
the moral of the story is, even if you're going on what you think is a short, safe ride, take some spare stuff, throw a little backpack on. Uh, this probably wasn't enough water, although I have some left. I did get that flat tire, and uh, probably three of that mile was on trail, and the two was coming on the road back. So I had to walk it all the way back. I'm going to stop at this really good uh, bike store on the way home. Let's see what I can get on a thornproof tire liner. And, uh, you know, I haven't spent 10 cents on that bike, so I guess it's about time I at least get rid of the original tires, huh? Oh, this is a nice shot. We're looking south towards Denver in the distance. Well, Denver's a long ways off, probably 60 miles, but I'll bet you can actually see Denver from here off there in the distance. Got a steep hill. Woohoo! I guess people are really getting snowed on back east, but it sure is nice here. Hope we get some snow so we get some moisture for next summer. That's what the problem is. It's nice to enjoy it now, but we need to store up the water. That's what all these lakes and reservoirs are for. And uh, we've had some issues, believe me. It seems like it was five, five or seven years. Oh, there's a nice shot. A dream catcher reflection off the lake. How's that? But wait, there's more. I need a burrito. That's what I need.